One of the real problems with having dinosaurs for friends is that they play rough with your Lego. It's time for Aaron Does It Wrong in support of Casey Hudson and WorldWorkings.com. Today is another spaceship day, and I'm starting to run out of other old plastic toys, so I'm going to build this smuggler ship out of Lego. And it's very obvious, I only have Star Wars Lego. There are certain shapes that I want to keep from these vehicle kits. I'm not really a Lego collector, and I'm not really a builder. But this Y-Wing has an engine that I'd like to keep intact, and these power converters for this T-47, I'd prefer not to design these myself. I don't know if this was accidental on my part or not, but the Millennium Falcon also has most of its sensors in this U-shaped hole. I'm going to keep this shape as well. This is becoming my standard Tadara Bray Gravitational Sensor Array. Now I can start to build the foundation of my spaceship by adjusting my sensor array to the position I think it will look best in. And I'll move this forward again once I realize it's in the wrong place. And now I realize it's in the wrong place. Fortunately, LEGO is easy to take apart and reposition. This is basically where the pieces started, but it's the shape I want to keep. Now I'll start to work on the body of the craft by taking pieces from other kits and positioning them where I think it's appropriate. Building up the body, and I believe the cockpit should go here. Now I'm not 100% certain about the size of this, air, this spacecraft. Uh, Casey says that it is a personal craft, but, and this is the important part, this is a smuggler ship. And so, while it is a personal craft, it does need to be large enough to carry a payload of illicit goods. Now, this could, in our world, mean that perhaps it's the size of a small van, or perhaps it's the size of a box truck, or perhaps it's even larger than that. This truck might be used for interstate travel, taking goods back and forth between borders. And this would mean that there's probably only room for one passenger, or maybe two, in, in the cockpit. And the rest of it would be given to carrying capacity and probably fuel and uh, engines and thrusters and sensors. As I slowly get together the parts that come into place, I want to add a little bit of color to it. Most Star Wars sets are black and gray. But this Y-Wing gave us a nice set of white and yellow bricks that we can place where we want to give the color that we'd like to see. It also gave some very nice contour pieces to go for wing sections to make it this look a little bit more spaceshipy than it would otherwise be. With the body together, I can start to put the engines on the side. In most cases, I had been putting engines on the back of these, but as a personal craft, I thought it might be interesting to have the engines on the side. It might make it a little bit more maneuverable in space, as well as making it perhaps a little bit more maneuverable in atmospheric conditions as well. As I start to put the back of this together, this is where the actual cargo would go, which means that this is the area that would need to have little nooks and crannies to hide things. As you remember, the Tadarabray and Pentaparty have a sensor that allows them to see gravitational images, which means they can see mass. So that means that, for example, if you are trying to hide something that's a lower mass than it needs to be, there needs to be some sort of a generator that gives the illusion of having extra mass. For example, if part of your engine system and I assume that engines in this world are made of a very, very dense metal and they're extremely heavy. But if you put a fake compartment as an engine system where you stash your illicit goods, you need to have some way where you can mimic what the density of your engine would look like. And I imagine that there is some way to do a gravity mimicking system that allows you to replace 
a engine component with a storage and smuggling bay and still have this bay have the same mass as what your engine would look like, which would allow you to sneak through a customs and land and smuggle your illicit materials into, into port. And that's what this has. You can't really see it because this is made of Lego, but it does exist, trust me. And with the final motor, uh, final engine assembly areas in place, and the last of the cargo and the body in place, I can fill in the rest of the body in the middle. And I can attach some sensors and some communication equipment because it's important to be able to communicate to a dockyard. And every vehicle coming into a planetary system, of course, needs landing lights. So we need to attach those. This needs to look as much as possible like an ordinary vehicle. And with that, I present a personal smuggling craft. This can be used for piracy or for other forms of smuggling. Thank you for watching. And please support Casey Hudson at worldworkings.com. This has been Aaron Does It Wrong.